Hi everyone, do you fancy a challenge to get you outside? Well, if you've got a tiny pond, like a bucket pond, or even if you've got a really big pond, let's see what's living inside there. If you can find some creatures, it gives you a project. You can go and look them up, find out what they eat, what their life cycle is like, where they sit in the food chain. So let's go and see what I can find in my pond. Here's the simple equipment you need for pond dipping. An old margarine tub magnifying glass and a spoon to help you catch those creatures. Now I've got a pond dipping tray but you could use any sort of large tub like an old ice cream tub to collect your catching. Here's the spotter sheet I'm going to use to identify anything I find in the pond. So here's my pond, it's only small but let's see what's living inside it. So before we start any pond dipping, we have to get some water for those creatures that we catch in the pond to swim around in. And then we need to get some water in our margarine tub because that is going to be our aquarium where we put our creatures. Put it down into the pond, give it a jiggle around. Most of the creatures live right at the bottom in amongst the dead leaves in amongst the plants at the side. Give it a sweep in a kind of figure of eight movement to see what you've got. Let the water drain out and then empty it into your tray. And then this is where your spoon comes in to have a sort through all that gunk. Use your spoon, carefully catch your creatures and put them into your aquarium to look at later. Let's have a look. Oh, down here is a water louse. So it looks a little bit like the wood louse that you'd find under a log. And this lived right at the bottom of the pond under all those leaves. Look how long its antennae are. It uses those to find its way around and find its food. So also in the pond we've got a blood worm. It's not actually a worm and it's not a blood sucker. It is a larva, a bit like a caterpillar, and that will turn into a non-biting midge. Most of its life is spent at the bottom of the pond. And it will gather up all these little bits of material in the pond and make itself a protective sleeping bag. And then it's not so obvious to predators. The red colour comes from haemoglobin, which is the same stuff we have in our blood that makes it red. It's a great disco dancer. Look at it go. Look at it move across the dance floor. Anyway, that red haemoglobin helps it pick up oxygen, even at the bottom of the pond where there isn't much. Check this dancer out. We have a mosquito larvae. Unfortunately, in my pond, I've got loads of those. Right down there. It's got a really hairy head that it uses to filter feed. And it's got a snorkel-like attachment, pierces through the water surface to get some air. There it is. So there you go. I found three species. Why don't you go and see if you can find more? And good luck researching them. They are fascinating.